Okay, and welcome to the... Stop making that noise. I'm sorry. That's Kenny. He's getting I weird. I know. I was telling him not to make the noise. I was thinking about someone. Sorry. Well, don't think about anybody. I'm sorry. Except me, your uncle. What? <clears throat> me, your uncle. All right, so anyway, But don't tell anyone. <laughs> we got uh, David Kobayashi here tonight. Hello, David. Hello, David. Hey. How's it going over there, buddy? Great. Now, last time you were on, Michael made a great video of your appearance. Did that scintillate you? His yes, parents weren't on the show. I thought it was it, 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 appearance. Yeah, it, it, it made me laugh when I saw it. I thought it so was really cool. You were laughing at him or <laughs> no? With I him? was la laughing with him. I, I, I thought it was very uh, ingenious. <laughs> that and, he and did you see that. his work, uh, David? That he did on Leone. For yeah, the? I commented on it. I said it's my one of my favorite films. And did, it, and did he did he, did he ruin one of your favorite no, films? No, no, not at all. I love the way he led. We were just talking, Richard and I, and Paula, Richard were just talking Wicca, yeah. about the sacredness oh, of texts. Great. And I don't think texts are sacred. I think that you can riff on them and you can really? comment on well, I them. I thought you were a sacred gentleman, them. David. No. Really, you're willing to riff on Leone, Why the not? great one. That's he's, what he's Quentin one of Tarantino your, but, does. But he's such a great auteur, though, Leone, and the riff on him doesn't seem correct. Well, I think Michael did a fine job. He did. I'll tell you. As long as they do it the right way, like Michael did, it's okay to riff on auteurs. Yeah. Richard, is that true? It's okay to rip on our tours? Did you see the work that... Uh, I, I, was, I, was telling, uh, I was telling both uh, Mr. Kobayashi and Paula how somebody found a book in my library of poems. They brought it out. They were horrified. They said, you've crossed out words written in your own words. What's going on here? You did that? Yeah. Why'd you do that? That's you're acting thing. just the Those way they acted. Those sacred, man. And I said... Like a Sylvia Plath thing? You were putting your own words in? <laughs> No, it's like the author said, uh, this is as far as I could take it here. Can you improve on it? That's how you felt? Yeah. Boy, you are a son of a bitch. Wow. <laughs> That's being kind of mean, I will man. take that as that, a compliment, Is that, is that mean, Richard? That, that was cruel. That was cruel. That was very cruel. Did you find that mean and cruel, Richard? Yes, it was. <laughs> no, I thought you were like expressing your opinion. Yeah. I was no, no, no. no that, was, that was fucking cruel. No, it was not cruel. It was cruel. So if I call him a son of a bitch, it's cruel? It was cruel. But he was crossing. Well, you wouldn't know anything about culture. He wouldn't culture. say that, but I'm just saying. No, he's just, I mean, he wouldn't his opinion matter more? The, the person who was called a son of a bitch? He yeah, said he was just being expressed in his bitch. Is just, that true, Richard? You won't tell me? Is that what is going on? You won't right. tell me? The no, truth? I'm telling you what I think. That no, he is opinion. telling me what I think. You know, exactly. What, what, he, I, what he thinks. And also what I think. Whatever. But anyways, Richard, what poem do you have tonight? Is it one of those ones you crossed out and put your old Richard Wicker <laughs> bullshit in? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I, noticed, I noticed, Richard, you said, I have a poem to read to you tonight that I found. It was really great. And now I'm realizing why you think it's so fucking great. <laughs> you crossed stuff out and wrote your own words. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> David, is that okay? <laughs> It's fine just, with me. He, he says I'm going to read a poem that's wanna... great. He really blew my mind. <laughs> 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 putting his own words in. No wonder it blew his mind. That's okay, David. You're saying okay on that? I'm, I'm giving it the thumbs what up. Kind I want to hear it. What kind of mystery <laughs> guest are you? Come on, he's got the poem out. Shut up. No, it's, no but it's, oh, shut he's got, up. He's got the I'm poem. Sorry. Well, read that. I'm no, sorry. Read it. I'm sorry. I'm talking on my own fucking show. He's got the poem <laughs> out. I'm talking my own show. He told me about the poem earlier. I know he didn't do that to this one. Oh, are you sure? I'm positive. I bet you all the good lines are wicked lines. So let's look. Let's listen to it and see if we can pick out the wicked lines. This is a poem. Is that from what you did with this or hooker. not? He's got the poem. Did you put your wicked lines in there? Don't lie. You son of a bitch. Hey, <laughs> I, was, I was watching a documentary on prostitution. Ooh, of course you were. Yeah. Michael pays for them. Ooh, Michael. I that, thought of how's Michael. That go? <laughs> Why? I thought of Why? Michael. Was he in the documentary? Did he catch a glimpse of his face? <laughs> so he, he was not in this documentary. You sure he wasn't in there? He plays it both ways, you know. Which, oh my girl, my which, are my girls, which of my girls it, are you talking had, about? Oh, my God. It was, about one it was a documentary with a brothel in uh, oh. Thailand. Oh, yeah, he's been there. His daughter, Pakistan. His daughter lives there. And Mexico. Yeah. He's Mexico. been all those places. Mexico. Mexico. And, and, and he, he, he got to meet the prostitutes, that's the filmmaker, and, you know, oh, that's good discuss their work, lives yeah. with them and yeah. everything. This one woman in Mexico, this prostitute, she said, well, I've written a poem. Oh, you got the poem from the prostitute. Yeah. Wow. And now, then you added your own words in or not? Let's go. Uh, I did not. Sure. Can we trust you? No. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're a son of a bitch. Okay. Here we, is there a title of this poem? 
It's called. The we don't need home. to show you well, no stinky she it bitches. Badges. She bitches. called it by the. I don't like you doing. Can I t- I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> get well, out, Richard. Get oh, Come on, yeah. hurry yeah. up. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Richard. I want to point something out here. Whenever Ken tells me to shut up <laughs> and tells you to hurry up, we don't have to. Right. <laughs> it's our show, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> right. It's your house, your studio, and I'm the host <laughs> that you give the gracious to. So come on. Okay, here we go. Don't hurry, though. She called it by the first line, you know, which oh, is what so you always real. do when you don't have a title. What a pussy ass thing to prostitute a whore. How appropriate. How appropriate. Hey, she got but paid for you it. can tell that this was written from her own experience. Is this going to read this in Spanish? No. Because that's be pretty wild. No. no. Okay, here we go. So David, maybe it lost in the translation. I'm right, right you, David? You know you Spanish, though, right? No. Oh, damn. I thought you did. Okay, here it is. It's not, it's not long at all. No. It's short. That's what she said. She not look, she not read poem you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I not read poem long time. <laughs> that's what they really say in Japan, right, David? Yeah, we guess. not read poem long time. <laughs> or, or, or Vietnam. Oh. Or Vietnam, right. Oh, we're out of time. <laughs> Boots are made for one. We're out of time because you didn't hurry up. Ken said hurry up, Richard. You did not hurry up, I noticed. Why didn't you hurry up? I don't know why. I just didn't do it. <laughs> okay, he said do it. Okay, go ahead. Today we say farewell, who knows until when, perhaps for the rest of our days. Someday, we won't remember how much we meant to each other when we made love together. But today, we're only acquaintances, and if we should meet again on a street one evening, you will pick up your pace, and I will cross the street as if I hadn't seen you. Wow, that is sad. I think of a Bob Dylan lyric when I hear that. When we meet again, pretend we never met before. <laughs> that blonde and blonde. Robert Zimmerman. When we meet again, <laughs> introduce his again. friends. <laughs> Please don't let on that you knew me when you were tired and I was hungry for your love. She tastes just like a woman. Remember that song, David? Very and well. she makes love just like a woman, but she breaks just like a whore. <laughs> Well, that's gonna that was be pretty great good. Thing. What'd you get out of that? Oh, yeah. It was pretty good. I like, I like the additions you made to it. <clears throat> What'd you get out of that, buddy? Why'd that rivet rivetate you so much? Rivetate? Why'd that rivetate? resonate so much? Rivetate? Why'd that rivet you so much? Uh, because I think it it showed rivetate. how how you have this double way of looking at prostitutes. When you, you when do. you need their services and you go to the you brothel. You make love to them. Yeah, like Michael They're does. everything to you. Right, Michael? Is that true? And when you see them on the street, you distance yourself. Is that true, Michael? Is that how you treat your horse? I never see him on the street. (laughs) In other words, there's a a private, the private public perception of prostitution. Yeah, Yeah. privately you can accept it and embrace it. Publicly, you distance yourself from it because it's taboo. The odd thing is, David, even though you're a mystery voice, David, even though you're a mystery voice, we still can't ask you about this situation with prostitutes. Of course you can. Even though you're just because you're the mystery voice, we're allowed to ask you. Did you ever walk past the prostitutes on the street and just ignore them then? Yes. Okay. What about you, Ken? I knew this girl. <laughs> and, um... Oh. Yes? Is this a limerick? She, she was a woman of the... E- of evening. that nature. And she, she was attracted to me. I was attracted to her. But Any time of the what day. What color was she? But I don't, I don't pay for it. No. You never pay for pussy. He's not bisexual. No, I know. You're not like and, Michael. Uh, Michael's a, a, a whoremonger. But we did get together. <laughs> You I got do not together, but there was no payment. No, right? I do payment. not mong whores. You no mind payment. whores. No payment. So she gave you a freebie. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> all the time. Did that all the time she gave you a freebie. Yeah. And when you saw her on the street though, did you walk away from her? No, it was never on the street. <laughs> but when you did see her on the street, did you walk away from her? No, in it was, public. It wasn't on the street. It went over to her house. No, I know, but I'm saying when you saw her walk again, like a, I think you mean, I think you mean just, if he saw her. If on you the saw her on the street, if you saw her in a public place, did you did you distance across, yourself? Yeah, from I just her? said hi. You know. Oh, you still so you, yeah, so you were still nice. You yeah. said hi. Well, Ken, you're obviously a gentleman. Michael, what do you do in that situation? What situation? Well, you said you never saw any <laughs> prostitutes, right, on the street. No. You ever see them after you made love to them? Did you ever see them during? Did you ever see them during? No, because I'm blindfolded. What? Oh, that is wow. Pin the tail on the donkey? What See this drink here? That? Yeah. This Ooh. is what Michael's drinking. It's B&B. It's brandy and brandy. No, it's See, bed and it's breakfast. Mm-hmm. Bed, bed and breakfast. breakfast. What is it, Ken? It's bed and breakfast. Bed and brandy. That's what it's called. No one is. It's called brand. Ben. You're good at speaking. Brandy and Benedictine. Now, Richard, the thing is, Ken's only good in the program once the he has had a few B&Bs. 
He's not like you. You, can do, you know how you can do the show sober and read those poems from prostitutes? <laughs> You're good at that kind of stuff? He's right? not like Ken, huh? No, he needs, oh, he, needs the, he needs alcohol. Why do you need drugs to so perform? Is Why do you need drugs to perform? Is Benedictine Why? made originally by monks? monks. Yes, French monks. Yes. yes. A few right. years French ago, <laughs> like chartreuse. <laughs> chartreuse few years is ago, made by monks. There was this woman who I really thought was wonderful, and she was running for mayor of Buffalo. Her name was Judy. I didn't vote for her. You got a story about her, Richard? I do, I do. Wow, what a, that's amazing. <laughs> what a segue. What a segue. Judy who? Now, I haven't seen Judy face-to-face -face in five years, but we correspond. Is she out of town? Uh, pretty far out in the sticks, yeah. Oh, you don't go out like in the sticks? Like Westfield, yeah, you know? Oh, it's way in Mexico. There, yeah. She wrote the poem. Right near, wait, near Niagara Falls. <laughs> what? No, that's What'd near Ellicott. She, she wrote the poem. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, so you don't bother Did you hear what he said? No. Tell me about her. Go ahead. What? What do you say? You don't want to hear it. What do you say, Michael? What? No, I said she lives in Mexico. She wrote the <laughs> poem. Her name is Hootie. Hootie. Well, I just want to go on that's record wrong. here saying that's a I bunch of bullshit, Michael. I want you to apologize right now to Judy on the air, you fuck. <laughs> Look, you're the one who said she was running after the mayor, all right? If she's a I prostitute... She's running for mayor. Then <laughs> running for mayor. Not that's the same the thing. It's not the same that. thing. It's it's running, running for the mayor. mayor. Running David, after David, the mayor. David, running to you're the mayor. Running after the mayor is the same that. thing as running for mayor? No. Exactly. So we apologize to Judy right now, you fuck. I don't even know who Judy is. Well, don't be saying horrible things then. Why well, I had to apologize to Tim Siraki, too. Well, you know him. But I don't know Judy. Why should I apologize Because to her? you just oh said something horrible God. on the air, referencing her, her in a relation to a Mexican prostitute. We're sorry, oh, Judy. We're what sorry. a bunch of bullshit, Michael. Right. Don't do All right. that. All right. Apologize. All right. I'm sorry. I, uh, this is... Uh, Judy. This is, I'm sorry, Judy. <sighs> I'll give the Hillary apology, okay? Oh, this is the I'm one really that she was forced sorry, to do. sorry, but I the, really didn't group. mean it, and, and you know... And you, don't, you don't mean your apology? No, I do mean the apology. It's okay. just, you know... All right. Back to you, Richard. Tell me the story about her. Okay, so we have this correspondence. Yeah. All right, so I get a letter from her email, and she says, I happened to be in Buffalo last week. Yeah. And I stopped over, and I rang the doorbell. Doesn't and, she know you don't ring the doorbell And here? you weren't home, and it was only like uh, noon. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't work. You're semi-retired. I wrote back, <laughs> and I said, that was you? I said... I remember when that happened. I was in the bathroom, and I thought, oh, that's the meter reader. <laughs> wow. So I she said, used to read your meter, Richard? <laughs> I said, I didn't know about that. He'd like to meet her. He would like to meet her. Ken, stop it. I'm Richard's sorry. pissed at you. I'm sorry. So Jesus. I said, because... The, I said, uh, the only people who ring the doorbell are people coming to read the gas, yeah, like electric Niagara meter, or, whatever, yeah. or when UPS delivers something, for some unknown reason, they ring the doorbell and leave, and they leave the package there. Yeah. Because they're or, being timed. Or religious people. Not your freak we'll friends. Your doorbell. freak friends just come in and out. And I said, plus, I, that's why you know I have a sign on the door, and, yeah. and most people, they just walk right in. Right. So she writes back, and she says, well, I saw the sign on the door. It said, if you're here for a radio show, but walk right in. And I wasn't. Right, she wasn't. She was going literally. She literally. had to change that sign. So I said, you know, I'm going to have to put an asterisk on that sign. <laughs> and the asterisk is going to say, if you are here for a radio show, you know, yeah. feel free to walk right in. Asterisk. Unless you're Judy. you are a woman, you are the woman <clears throat> who holds the key to my heart. Oh. Wow. Oh. That's beautiful. Ah, beautiful. No wonder you were so upset with Ken being an asshole and Michael being an asshole. What? Huh? Now, what? you were being an asshole, interrupting his story. I, I didn't mean no, to interrupt the not story. Over. No, I know, but he was interrupting story's it. Like, not over right now. Now he's mad at me. <laughs> Go ahead. So, Son of a Judy, who has this remarkable sense of wit, yeah, she it's something I've always liked about me her. Me too. It rises to the occasion, and Whoa. she writes back. She says, oh, you really had me laughing out loud in that statement about the asterisk. However, then I paused and thought, I wonder how many women who would see that asterisk would think you're referring to them. A lot. <laughs> I remember that time. I remember that time when you went over to do the plumbing and you, and you did the plumbing. Remember that time? The yeah. Plumbing time. Oh my God, Dave, you hear about that? That wasn't. No. That wasn't. Oh yeah. That wasn't I'm the not. same person. No, but this, I know that's what I'm saying. There's all the different women. We, are you listening? We're talking about all the different women. Oh, that's right. All the, the all woman the said. Women. This woman said, "Hey, Richard, I really need some plumbing done." 
And he said, thanks, I'll be over there to help you with the plumbing then. And, it, and it, it's, you know, July 4th, it'll be a good time to help with the plumbing. And she goes, we got some other, and I got some other kind of fireworks uh, ready for later on. After <laughs> some more plumbing fireworks later on upstairs. That was a crazy time, Richard. Oh, hold on. Cat needs wow. his little drinky poo to continue I, the show. I'm running low on ice, but don't uh, worry Oh, he's running low on ice. Richard, got more ice? No, no, it's upstairs. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry about it. I told okay, you okay, about okay, that 4th okay, okay, okay. of July story. Oh, yes. Yeah. You told me, yeah, and Paula. <laughs> that was a hot story. You were story. drunk when you told us. <laughs> well, no, I'm Ooh. glad you brought it up because it's been so long. I forgot about it. Oh, that you, story. but you remember it now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You were intoxicated. And Michael, remember, you must have experiences like that. Hand? He was not intoxicated. No, I, I was caught up in whatever he was drunk so on love. Oh. Now, Michael, you've been, have you only had experience with prostitutes or did you have a love, have a love making plumbing situation like that? You know, no. where a lady says, come over and do my plumbing, which she really wants you no, to do. No, but I had a woman who wanted me to fix her radio or car radio. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that what yeah. they call it? Did you steal it? <laughs> no, no, no. She, she invited I was I was like 18 years old. She invited oh, me right. over. Oh, 18 years old. When were you 18? Back in the 70s. How many huh? years ago? Jesus. Ask Greg. He does the math. Late 60s. 1912. You're talking 19, 1970. 70. Oh, 70. 1970. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 69. Like like I was working in a factory, and the woman of course you were. was, she asked me to come over to her house and fix her car radio oh for my. her. Hey, Greg is working. And then she started oh, showing right. me photos of her trip to some Polynesian island where the women are Ooh. naked. Oh, Ooh. 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 I, I, like didn't, I, didn't, I didn't understand what was going on when, <laughs> oh. I, when I told my friends. <laughs> what and they you said, mean? you idiot. She was hitting on. You. Yeah, obviously. To... I said, I don't, I don't, don't know. Don't you know anything about sports? No. <laughs> ah, David, sports? you want to have situations like this in your life where women just threw themselves at you? Right? <laughs> it's happened a few times. A few times they just threw themselves at you with Polynesian photos of naked women? Did you take <laughs> no advantage? Polynesian photos. Did but you have take you ever had experience of that where, situation? Did you take advantage of that situation, Michael? What? Never? You never took advantage and go back later? No. What about you, David? Yes. What? Yeah, throw, they throw themselves yeah. at you. What's the matter with you? Yes. If you like them, <laughs> and they prime throw themselves at you, don't tie the game, you take advantage of the situation, yes. right? You don't blow you like only, Michael did, right? You only, there's blow, no sex what? in the grave. You only go around once. You only have sex until the grave, exactly. Oh, until the, I yeah. had a girlfriend. No, there's no sex I in the grave. I only went over to fix the radio. <laughs> you only went over to fix the radio. Woman guilty in castration And fix her antenna? You didn't fix her antenna? No, I didn't fix her <laughs> but David, when they throw themselves at you, you've gone for it because as long as you're as long as you're attracted to them, right? Would you go, if someone threw themselves at you today and you weren't attracted to them, would you take advantage of the situation? We're, we're not. We're not. Would you take advantage anyway, just no. for the hell of it, for no. kicks? No. For kicks, buddy. No. David, for just for kicks. No. No. When you no. say things, could you say things so that you'd be like going like this while you're saying it? The, oh. So I can work it into the, <laughs> no into the movie fucking this way. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There you're you on go. camera right uh, now. There you go. Yes. Now, Michael's become an artistic genius. Richard, did you see the one he did this week about you being Travis Bickle? Yeah, that was terrific. I can't wow. wait to see that. You weren't offended then, because Michael was no. a little bit of a pussy. He thought you'd be offended. Mm. What's it called well, again? He, well, you can put it on at the end of the show. He thought the fact that I wasn't commenting was, meant I was offended. offended yeah. I didn't even know it was up. You didn't know. You know what I, you know what I realized? You have to tell fucking people when it's up, Michael. Well, that's what, what posts are for. That's what posts are for. He doesn't have ESPN or ESPN2. Yeah, you you got to tell the guy, Richard. The computer at the time it's posted, unless you have. Yeah, the what do you think he's doing? I know, but that's what happens when you have like four thousand friends. You know, you got too many things wow. to look at. So I only have like nine friends. Now, how did you decide to make Richard Wicka? You, the, you said the show was. Oh, so you're gonna fun. ask me about the? You're gonna ask me about the clips? I can talk about it. Yeah. He's oh, he's going going right right oh my excited. God, Tom. Camera on me. So anyway, <laughs> Michael, the show was so boring last week. Correct. It was. Very boring. Because I wasn't here. It, because right. Ken wasn't here, right? Is that what the reason it was so boring? Because Ken and David weren't here? Paul was damn here. Because Ken all. and David weren't here? David was so good. Without you last week, the show was so God boring. Damn it all. He couldn't even think about uh, any of the audio from it. I'll, I'll have to Kay. show up more often. We need your audio, David. Yeah. Every week when you're available. Absolutely. Are you trying to tell me you're always busy early Saturday uh, evening? Like you can't do something before and after on Saturday? Come on. You got time to do something after and before. I, I was out till 1230 at night last Saturday. I was Exactly. All day long. But you I could have been here. With, you could throw in nice for a half hour here, though. Had a nice time. But a half hour, David. Is that asking too but much I was, for me? But I was gone all day last Saturday. I'm saying when you're in town, though, ro roving around town. When I'm in you town, can, I can do you're not. You don't live that far, David. Not that far. No. So, Michael, you, you, the show was so boring last week, you decided to use Richard Wicker as Travis Bickle. Is that true? Well, I, I did the first show with, with The Good, Bad, and the Ugly. That was a show before that. <laughs> that was yeah, but I did two shows in one week. That's amazing. Oh, you're for me. Oh, you're prolific. But what happened Why was, you was Travis Bickle I had I, I was doing a project. Can't stop that. Why? You what know I what I'm talking about. What I do? He's panting. He's panting. He has again. pants on. I was thinking about somebody. You were thinking about what a woman? Don't ask. 
I'm not. I can't, don't tell. I, I can't, I can't talk tell. about that. I can't talk well, about that. We can only her. talk about your mother. Let's talk about your mother. <laughs> Stop. Don't touch Stop the that. microphone. Oh, Jesus Sorry. Christ, you're getting Richard all pissed off. I oh. get pissed off when people interfere with the audience. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Ken? You're, you're, he's a regular here, too. <laughs> it's that thing. So he's, you're going to blame booze. the alcohol on your, on your playing with your ball? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh. He only plays tell with Tell me about your mother, though. You hate your mother, right? You hate her. I despise her. Okay. We got that on the record. All right. He despises his mother. Is that appropriate, Richard, to despise your mother? Appropriate? Yeah, appropriate. Is that an appropriate thing to despise the woman who gave birth to you to make your whole life happen? Is yeah, that appropriate? Whatever. You heard well, the word appropriate. Suppose we say it's not appropriate. Yeah. And then inappropriate would be the word. What would Ken what would he do when we gave him that information? He would learn to be like a member of society who realizes she spat him out of the womb and gave him this great life he's had. It's all due to her. Fuck and that. the spot the Go fuck ahead. that. Go ahead. But your life's been great, hasn't it, Ken? Except for that part, yeah. Except for what, coming out of her womb? Yeah. So you just have one, you hold against the fact that you were born. <laughs> Other than that, everything, so the born part was bad, but the rest of the life's been smooth as scotch, right? Smooth as B&B. &B. So you, <laughs> yeah. you got to be happy, I'm man. Smooth as B&B. &B. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So there you go. That's what he would do. He would realize it's all, he, see, he was despising her, but now he realizes it was just that one bad moment when he was born. It's been smooth since then. See, well, that's I, I, would, I'd be under the impression she did things to him that he has not forgiven have her you for. Ever, has, did she ever do things to you? Fuck yeah. Oh, God. Bad things then. Yeah. But she must have done a lot of good things for you, like raise you for 20 years, 40 years, 50 years. Oh, or, don't go that far. No. 20 years, though, right? And then they put you in a day shift, right? Yeah, I won't go that far either. No. Oh, okay. Back to Michael. Michael, your, your video. Well, what I was him, working on was... So why did you make him Travis Bickle? Like, can you answer my question? Well, here's what happened. I had an idea for a project in mind. What I was doing was stuff with just Richard. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I was just doing me. stuff. So I was, I was cleaning out everything except for Richard from last week's show. And I started seeing things. I started seeing... You do that a lot. Yeah, I started seeing patterns. Yeah. And I said... Of course wait did. a minute, wait a minute. I said, you could do that any what? week, though. Patterns but but like there that. was that one shot where Richard was talking about his his, his retreat gone, at the yeah. seminary. Yeah. And he had that swaggery kind of motion. But the same way he did when he told kind of stuff fucking around the And I started now. thinking taxi driver, and I thought, that is weird. <laughs> no, it, it, it almost looks like he's saying, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, and, got, and and I does, got the he audio. Does, he does act yeah. that way, yeah. And I got the audio, and, I, and it worked. And I said, oh, shit, now i got to do the rest of it. That's great. And it's only 30 seconds. But, but then when you mean, added in like, the uh, finger on oh. De Niro's head, that <laughs> you know, was... It was I, I said, I, how am I going to work that in? It doesn't work. And I thought, I'm going to put it in at the end and do an extended shot. Yeah, you are a genius. But, but I just, you know, how do you the, decide the the, Leone? The way the fingers. The, the, there was no good dialogue for the Leone night, so you just <coughs> did the uh, the Leone thing. That, that was dialogue. weird because it was, uh, you know, were you trying to impress David Kobayashi? No, no, no. Were you thinking David Kobayashi? I'm sorry. Was that bad? Hey. Wait, well, wait I, cut well, this well, I don't know who that guy is. Cut that. <laughs> is this going to be a problem now? No. Oh, okay. So you were trying to impress somebody. Who's Dan and Silverfish? Right, Dan and Silverfish. Were you trying to impress him? No. Come on, be honest. I know you were. Eight minutes. No. That's what I what saw. I was <laughs> That's why eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, well, let's talk about the prime no, rib. How's the prime no, rib? No, no, no. <laughs> talk about the prime Michael, this is the time to show when we talk about the prime rib. How's the prime rib at the 1099 are we prime down rib? To, are we down to the last no. 30 seconds? You know what I was thinking? The prime rib was good. The How prime was... rib is horrible. You know Don't what I was go thinking? to Michael's town 99 shanty. cents. What do you expect? No, it's <laughs> 1099. <laughs> you said 99 cents. Uh, no, no, no. Prime, you know what I was thinking? Prime rib of dog. Now, how is this uh, drink, huh? this B&B? &B? Is B &B, it good? It's, no, it's, it's, I, you, it's not my drink. Because you've been drinking and drinking, even though you said you didn't like it. He's been sipping it like there was a nipple on it. Jeez. Are you <laughs> sipping this like it's a, there's a nipple on it? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sipping it like it's... Go ahead. We know you like the failed symbols. Anyway. Yeah. You know what I was thinking? Go oh, no. He's oh, no. Yes. No, I was thinking. Don't when, terrify me, though. When she dies. Who? Your mother? Yeah, when she yeah. dies. When she's laid out in the wake. Yeah. I'm going to have a party hat on. Right. Horns and yeah. the little rattle that you have on New Year's. Right. That's going to be me. Smile uh, on my face. Wow. What really? did she do, you do know, to you? Do you know... And then, when we're at the <clears throat> cemetery... Yeah. When everybody's gone, I'm going to go to the next day. Yeah. You know, when they push the dirt on? Yeah. I want to be on the bulldozer to push the dirt on. They don't do that for when you cremate people. No, I, I want to pay them. Oh, I, I want to pay them to push the fucking dirt on. I danced the polka at my down. stepfather's funeral. I danced the polka with my brother-in-law. Was that appropriate, Paula? W yes. Okay. Richard, do you find it's appropriate to talk about his mother this way? Ken? His mother? Well, I, I, I wouldn't use the word appropriate. Yeah. 
So you don't think it's appropriate? Well, my, my, the way I would look at, at, at this is, what can we tell Ken that will help his mental health in this situation the most? And what would it be, Richard? You're well, the, you're the that's guru. where there is no clear-cut answer. I mean, oh, one answer fuck. is it's you, vague? you feel this way about your mother, yeah. get your feelings out. Yeah. And I mean, another way is suppress your feelings, or and a third way is overcome your feelings. Well, you know. Will overcoming thing, your feelings be the, the best thing, though? The, no. The, well, that's the thing. The only thing Once you can do. Once you're at peace with The only thing you can feelings. do is, is, and I think a lot of people misunderstand this, you just, you have to accept. get past it. You have to accept it and, and forgive it because it's hurting yeah. you more than it's hurting her. Ken, can you accept? Can you no. forgive and accept? No. But, but you know Jesus said accept and forgive, right? Yeah. And he's your Lord and Savior, correct? Yeah. And he's your idol that you want to be like, right? You like well, to follow, you like Elvis. to be like, oh, right. You but you like to be like, you like to be like Jesus, right? Ken, if you could be like Jesus, you'd want to follow in his footsteps, right? Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Yeah. So wouldn't you want to forgive? Because he'd forgive. Mm. Are you trying to say he wouldn't forgive? Uh, you know he'd forgive. Then, yeah, it's so going to be forgive, a little difficult with that one. But since he for, would forgive, can't you forgive? Let her, for, let him forgive her. I, I just so when I Jesus don't know. forgive it's just for you. Be a little difficult. You're putting your problems with your mother in Jesus' <laughs> hands. It's going to be a little difficult. David, what do you think of that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm out of my depth on this one. <laughs> you don't think that Jesus could help here? I, I don't know. I think Ken, Jesus Ken's is my friend. To, He's my buddy. Ken's gonna have to work. I've had lots and lots of problems <laughs> in my life, and then one day there was Jesus. It was great. I can say that. You gotta have faith. You I gotta can, have faith. Hey, hey, I can say that. At one time, I did love her. Wow. But then, when did that it stop? Then dropped off. When did it stop? Mother, when I realized that she was the instrument of everything. Oh, uh, you're blaming it all on her. Instrument. Well, she caused everything. Oh, by spitting you out of the womb, like you said. No, 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 no. No, we oh. don't know the incident. See, that, or he's what's bothered the incident? By. You know that when we, we, were, we were all growing up, you know, the, 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 the discipline. Yeah, well, definitely. The discipline. Like, like. My father used to punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Uh, well, well, David, is that I funny mean, when my father punched me in the face? I, I used to get, no, I, I got mean, my face shoved into a hot bowl of soup one time. Well, I mean, that James Cagney. Yeah. One, one of the parents disciplined yeah. us, whether which, it was the mother or the father. Which one was it? Well, she disciplined us. Oh, Dan, no wonder you're upset. But then she would wait for him to get home, right. which was, and he worked three jobs. Oh, Christ. He'd come home shit-faced. Right. And then she would ream into his ass about whatever oh, man. bothered her. And yeah. then, then, oh, by the way, your son did this, your daughter did this. Oh, Christ. And then you got your ass kicked by a drunk. But the thing is. She instigated it. You loved her at one point, though. And then I realized it, what she did. Yeah, then you started blaming bam. her. Bam. She fucking fault. instigated it. Instigated it. It's bullshit. That is bad. It's her fucking fault. I, I mean, it. she did it. Richard, did you have that kind of... I mean, of, I wouldn't have got my ass kicked life? twice by two fucking parents by a fucking drunk. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that Fuck bullshit. Her. Fuck now, her. You're raising a, a, a very important point here. Somebody, of course, I usually do. If somebody does you a wrong, what does it take for you to I mean, to I can forgive them? her, but... You gotta, she ain't like, gonna see you gotta that. Be strong to she ain't gonna. You take all she's still strength. gonna say like, no, well, but she, when you, forget, you know what I'm saying? When you forgive somebody, you don't necessarily take Michael, the you're fact for, you're off that kind of guy. the person did she the wrong gonna, thing. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna see it that way. She can't. You know what I'm no, saying? But we're not, we don't I worry about what up, she thinks. You worry about how you think. I brought up something to her. This this old guy that my father used to pal around with, that was a pedophile. Oh God. He he did something. He he came up to me when I was a little kid, like four or five years old, and said, "Hey, how's Mr. Winky doing?" What? And he Mr. stuck he stuck his finger in my fucking <gasps> um, Your pajamas. Oh, how's Mr. Winky doing? Christ. So I got up out of the fucking uh, couch, went to my mother, and told him about it. Yeah. And she just looked at me like, like I don't know what I was doing or what I was saying. And you. She just blew me off. Oh, so man. I confronted her about it like um, like last year, and she just looked at me like, "Oh no, I would have did something, yeah. bitch." I fucking told you about it. You didn't do nothing. And she's just like, no, I would have did something. You know what? When you fucking die and see God, I want him to take you to that fucking day and tell you where, where and take you to that fucking day and show you that you didn't do fucking nothing. Cunt. So you see, Fuck he's, you he's and still die. working through his anger. You know what I'm saying? Well, obviously. She didn't he do hasn't nothing. Through it yet. Nothing. Like, I didn't know you what know, I was talking and, about. And Ken, that's the worst thing. You know what I'm saying? When you're. When you're when your mother doesn't protect didn't you. Didn't do nothing. That's, Dick. That's the worst thing. You know what I'm saying? She didn't do shit. 
Are we recording? I'm going to push that fucking yeah. dude over her fucking grave. Let me tell you. Is that appropriate, Richard? Uh, well, he's getting his anger out. Word Richard his would anger use. out. Is that appropriate, David? I don't think appropriate. David, like like God forgive her. her. You know what I'm saying? If I end up in hell, I end up in left. hell. That's All right, I, well... <laughs> This has been the Full Metal Jacket <laughs> <laughs> part of the metal. episode. <laughs> what we like to do is we like to have a two- Hey, Mike, two, how you doing? Like Hi, two, Kenny. Two parts, and we like to end on Full Metal 